Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, I wanna to show you how you can plan your Instagram grid or your Instagram content using Canva. It's a really great technique. There's a few things that I wanna show you in this video, so do make sure you stick around and ask any of the questions you've got down in the comments below, but let's dive into Canva and get started. I was looking at my Instagram grid and I've not really kind of like focused a lot on Instagram really recently. So one of the things I wanted to do is start creating a more cohesive look and plan my content better. And it dawned on me that I can actually use Canva for this. Now what I want is I want 1080 times three by 1080 times maybe five or six. And that's gonna give me this size here, which is 3240 by 6750. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the grid option in order to be able to plan out our content. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrunch this up. So this, line is going to be 1080. If you're struggling to get the actual size, then what you can do is if you zoom in more, you can kind of, you get a little bit more refinement when you when you zoom in. Now what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to remove the spacing because I don't want any spacing in this. And then all we're going to do is we're going to copy down that grid and I'm just going to do Command D for duplicate. Or what I can do is I can hold down the Option key on the Mac and drag that down. I went through all these different keyboard shortcuts in my last video, which I'll link up here and down in the description before, which has got a lot of the keyboard shortcuts that I use on a regular basis. And they're going to save you a, a lot of time if you're creating things. And especially when it comes to things like duplicating and what have you. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag that down and you're going to create as many rows as you want to create for your grid. Now this is going to be your grid. And all we're going to do is we're going to actually go outside of this grid now and we're going to actually create our instagram posts that we want to have on our grid now when it comes to creating instagram posts we all know that instagram's playing about with the size at the moment it used to be originally it was square then they've changed to now instagram portrait and they're trying even like even longer sort of 9 by 16 kind of size especially when it comes to video but one of the things that you'll notice in Canva is a lot of the good Instagram posts are actually still square. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come over to Canva and we're going to then come to create design and we want to click on create an Instagram post 1080 by 1080. From here, we're going to create and select all of our Instagram posts. And these are just some of the Instagram posts that I've created. And you want to click on as many of these as you want. And once you've chosen your Instagram posts, you're going to come over to resize and then you're going to resize to 1080 by 1350. And you're just going to click on the resize option and then a quick click and it does it for you. This really good, quick, easy way to make sure that you're able to resize some of the square images to, in order to maximize your visual area that you're using on Instagram. This is all good, but one of the things that you want to make sure is that when it does, when Instagram still has your grid at the moment, I know they're trialing kind of like a more of a portrait size on the grid, but at the moment for most people, it's still the square. Now what you want to be able to do is show or find out what area of this portrait image is going to be shown in the square. Now the easiest way to do that is to come over and you're going to choose your square or you can hit R on the keyboard for rectangle. And if you hold down the shift key and drag this out, you'll notice that it should be 1080. There you go, 1080 by 1080. Okay, now I've got that selected. I'm gonna put position, center and middle. And it should already be centered. Now, there you go, that's, that's the area that's gonna be shown. And what I can do is I can put this and send this to the back. So now I know that when it shows in my grid, this is the area that's going to be shown. And when it comes to exporting and adding it to our grid in order to be able to visualize this, we're going to be able to see this in a, in a short while. Another option is you can hold down the shift key and the R key and you'll notice these rulers turning on and off. So shift and R to turn on and off the rulers. And if you click drag and down from the top there and also down to there this is now going to create these rulers for you so i can now delete that square and i can now see when you actually export this the rulers don't show up it just downloads the image but now as i'm designing or creating my content i can see that these 
ruler lines are there so I can check to make sure that I've actually got things lined up as I want so for this one I might want to kind of just drag that in there a little bit more I might want to drag my flowers in a little bit more just to kind of show that so it kind of gives that separation around the edge of that and on this one I can make sure that the all this is centered so I'm going to put position center and middle you can see it's already centered and middle there and this is really good and you'll notice as, as well with a lot of the templates if they've got any kind of like handle areas here where it says at really great site there's a really quick way once you've added all your designs to your pages all you can do now is you're going to press Control F and you're going to do find and replace that's Control and F as I say I mentioned this in the video last week on the keyboard shortcuts and this is a new thing so you can do find and replace so I can type in really great site and I can see there's two of these in here and I want to place with at better content creators which is me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram I'll put a link down below it's at better content creators and now I can just go through and I can click on replace I can click replace all and that's going to replace all of those now you will see that on this you're going to have to sometimes depending on how big your handle is you're going to have to resize the actual text box just grab grab on the side of that there and then just recenter that and that's going to give you the recentering on that one and again this one has actually changed it on there so now we've got this the next thing i want to do is i actually want to apply my brand colors to these templates you can see if i click on the grid option here you can see all these are different colors and they don't really kind of like fit within my grid one of the things i want in my grid is to be able to have things that all look consistent colors and match with my brand identity now what you can do you can set up your brand kit and once you set up your brand kit you'll see when you come down to styles you choose your brand kit from up here and you've got your fonts and you can apply your fonts to all of those if you wanted to i'm going to keep the more kind of like creative fonts and things like that i'm not too worried about that but if i want to start adding my actual brand colors now I can start cycling through these and come up with one that I think looks better. Now what I can do then is I can come in and refine that. I can just change the colors and update those. I want these not to be black, but to be the gray that I have on my color there. So I can make sure that it's not, not straight harsh black. I kind of like to have a little bit of an off black. Now I'm gonna start kind of like exporting some of these and I've already done this so let me switch over to the other screen and show you okay and here we are we're in the actual design again so what we started off with it was the just the three wide and however many tall you want it to start planning it and I've just started to I exported some of my designs and I've started to just then populate where I want them to be and I can see from this what my actual grid is going to look like and I can start adding more and more on here and I can see these designs and it just allows you to kind of like plan out your Instagram grid a lot better and now you can if you want to actually schedule your Instagram templates through Canva I don't use this myself but you can come along and you can go to where is it the content planner now the content planner is a pro only option and if you want to try out canva pro i'll put a link down below to a 45 day trial of that and you can come in here and you can start adding your content you do need a business account in order to be able to create that or however you can now post to a personal account if you add in uh, from from the mobile so if i want to do that i can click on share i come down to more I can either click on Instagram business and that's going to take me through that option there or I can do Instagram personal and now it's going to ask me to use the Canva mobile app to post to Instagram. I can scan this QR code and that's going to allow me to do that. Now what I do when it actually comes to scheduling the content or what I've 
decided I'm gonna do when it comes to scheduling the content is actually using the Facebook Creator Studio. So in Creator Studio, what you can do now is you can actually create a post and choose whether that's gonna to be to your Instagram feed or whether it's gonna be as, a, as an image or and that's videos that are shorter than 60 seconds or for anything longer than 60 seconds you can choose this option here and you can now schedule these posts to your instagram feed so that's how i'm going to be scheduling my posts and i think you'll agree that this as an option as a grid in order to be able to plan your content is really good do make sure you follow along interact with me over on instagram and until next time thank you very much and bye for now